one. Another month down. Let's see how many games I beat for February. So the very first game that I beat was Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance for the Xbox One. This game took me a little bit of time to beat. Um, I was I started it in January, at the end of January, and it takes about an hour or more for each section of each dungeon. And I, each dungeon has about three sections or about four sections and a boss. And so <laughs> literally it'll tell you like a little time arrow thing and like that little arrow is like uh that's an hour so if one of them has one that's just an hour and some of them are like three hours or more so it's pretty cool i liked it i like dungeons and dragons and i'm kind of looking at it from a game pass perspective and that's probably why i wasn't too angry about it i didn't pay 60 bucks i will say there was times where my character the animation was off um kind of like uh you can see that the animation was meant to be on a separate section so there was a time where like uh for example i was climbing up a ladder my character was here and the ladder was here so it was like hmm okay it's climbing the character's climbing but not where it's supposed to be and the final boss was amazing i liked it i almost died i literally was like i gotta build up my character so i took my time getting to that part and then when i finally got to the boss i was like Ooh, this is difficult. The patterns were easy to learn, but it was still like you have to deal with the little minions that they throw at you. And once I figured that out, I was good to go. The next game was Donut County. Um, never heard of this game, but I did know that a couple people had it on their beat list and they said it was weird but good. And I can agree. It's literally you're a little raccoon who is a creature slash friend to a woman slash girl who he's trying to help her, but in reality, he's not helping her. He's making the situation worse. He thinks he's helping by getting rid of everybody that was bothering her, but <laughs> in reality, he made the situation worse and sucked himself and her in that hole. And now they're getting yelled at by all the people of the town. And they're trying to figure out how to get back home. And so they're trying to convince the little creature to send them back up. And he's like, mm, okay, I'll finally do it. But I'm not going to be happy about it. And it was a good little time. Uh, it's not a very long game. So if you want to try it out, definitely get it before it leaves Xbox Game Pass. Next on the list was King of Fighters 2000. This is a PS2 game that is digitally on the PS4. I liked it. Uh, I always like King of Fighter games and this one was a little twist spin to it. It's a team fighting where you have four guys, I think. It was like three or four guys and you battle three or four guys on their side and you have to just make it through with all the guys and get to the very end. The last boss was funny. <laughs> it's always a, I'm going to tell you my plan so you don't foil the plan <laughs> kind of thing. It was the early 2000s. What do you expect? The fourth game was a weird game that I saw and I was just like, what is this game? And it's Kill It With Fire. It has a picture of a spider and a, like a, looks like a flame torch. <laughs> I was like, gotta try this out. I uh, saw somebody else had it on their beat list and they was like, it was a good time waster. And I was like, yeah, it literally is. Um, you are a exterminator. And your job is to get rid of spiders and you kind of go a little overboard with the spider killing. You start using shotguns, blasting things, destroying things, burning things. You don't care. Your job is to get rid of the spiders, but you're destroying people's homes. And yeah, it's a little weird, but fun at the same time. <laughs> I loved how ridiculous it got. I was like, this is just so pure craziness. I, I enjoyed it. So... I would recommend this game also. It's another little short game that you're gonna go, huh? I really tr truly would not pay for this. Like if it wasn't on Xbox Game Pass, I don't think I would have paid for this, but I'm glad it was because I had a fun time with it. The fifth game was Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. Um, this one was on Xbox Gold, so I, Saw the list of Xbox Gold games for the, the month and I was like, 
The only one that interested me was Broken Sword. And I, I like point and click puzzle games. So anytime I can get a, a point and click game for any system, I try it out. And this was free, so it was even better. Um, I never played a Broken Sword game ever. So I might start looking to see if there's any other Broken Sword games like to find to try out. Um, you are a guy who is investigating a murder. Um, you had put in some money for a painting and you were insuring it and you had to find out what happened to the, the paint owner, like the shop owner. And you literally are on a twist and turn. You're going to different towns, cities, and you have to figure out the puzzle in order to get the, the next scene to trigger. And I liked that it was in the middle. It wasn't so hard to where you're like, I give up on this, I can't figure out the puzzles, but it also wasn't so easy to where you're like, I'm going through this pretty fast. I don't really get the challenge. It's not that hard. So definitely uh, if you do have Xbox Gold or Game Pass Ultimate, I think you can play it. So try it out. It's uh, a good game. The story, a little weird at the end, but for the most part, it's a murder mystery. And the next game. I don't know why it's on the list, but other than I said I would play it, and it's Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus <laughs> for the Game Boy Advance. Um, I was looking for a Game Boy Color game, Vance game, any game to play that was Barbie because I did say <laughs> to uh, everybody on stream and uh, budget, thank you for making it crazy fun, but yeah, it's actually an okay game. I was shocked. It's a... Uh, I think it's based off one of the TV shows for Disney Channel because it doesn't look like any of the stuff that I've seen. So it has to be like later on when I I don't I didn't keep up with Barbie. I don't really need to keep up with Barbie, but it's basically kind of like Batman where you don't hit the person ever. This one I know death run. I don't want to brag about it, but it's it's so easy you could know death run in 5 seconds. Um you pretty much you have a wand and you use the wand to save people and fight bad guys with. Um, pretty much this guy wants to marry you. <laughs> he goes in and he freezes everybody in the town and he says, in order to get your town unfroze and save your, your sister who is a Pegasus now because he turned her into Pegasus, you have to marry me. Marry me now. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't get this plot, but okay. Um, so when you're battling the bosses, you never hit them. You're hitting objects to have them fall on them, or you're using your magic to freeze them, to be able to have something else in the environment hit them. And yeah, it's hilarious. It's easy. You can finish it in one go. It's not that long either. It's like, I can't remember. I think it was like three, four hours or less. Like, I don't remember exactly now off the top of my head, but... Yeah, if you want another game to no death run, do this one. <laughs> it doesn't have any effort. The next game that I beat was Pocahontas for the Genesis. I've been wanting to play and beat this game for a while. It was on my backlog. Um, I never could get into the game when I was younger. I don't think I understood the spirit powers. Uh, it's literally the movie. Uh, if you've seen the movie in the past, you'll know the story from the beginning, which is... The settlers come in and they start a chaos and they want a war and your job is to stop the war and find John Smith and the ending is very stressful if you are running and you don't know which part of the ledge to jump at you can get a little it's like Lion King you get stuck but if you save John Smith at the end from getting hurt by your father you can make it through um fun game uh, you literally you're sneaking around and I don't like games like that where you sneak around and you can't fight back But this one I actually enjoyed so definitely try it out if you do have it on your collection Next game is called chicken shoot for the Game Boy Advanced um, Strange game never got to play it, but it's literally you shoot chickens <laughs> They fly around in the, the sky in the area and you have eggs thrown at you and if you get hit by too many eggs you die, but um, you're a guy shooting chickens. It's an arcade mode. There's no credits. You have to find the credits. That's what is irritating to me. I'm like, you don't get credits at the end, but okay. The next game is What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, I played this 
way back, 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 when it very first showed up on PS4, I believe. And I had a physical copy and I sold it a long time ago and I was like, huh, oh, it's back on Xbox Game Pass. I'll try it out again. This is, what, four or five years ago, so I don't even really remember the story. And I was like, let's try it again. Let's do this. Let's play it. And it's a very sad tale. Um, not for the faint of heart, because there's parts where you literally have to start doing stuff to the family members. And you're like, oh, I don't want to do this, but I have to because it's part of the story. But it's a good story to watch and see what happens. And uh, yeah, it's a puzzle game. You literally just have to click on stuff to find the triggers to get the next story to move on. And it's a short game. Um, I did get all the achievements because you can literally just get all the achievements. Um, you just have to find stuff, collect stuff, look through peepholes and stuff like that. Because I remember from last time when I did it a long time ago, you just look for peepholes and look through them and let the dialogue go through. And you beat the game. So try that one out and uh, you'll have a interesting story. After that game, I beat Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Game Gear. It's a fun classic game. Um, I enjoy the old classic Power Ranger games. I'm going trying to go through as many as I can. Um, I know there's a few that I haven't beat yet, but I wanted to start off with this one. It's shorter. Um, it's a fighting game, kind of, where you battle. It's kind of like a beat-em-up, but you only face like one... Or two enemies at the, at the time. There's like, it doesn't fill up the screen because, well, yeah, it's a Game Gear game. You can't really fill up the screen, but it's not easy. It's got a little bit of a challenge to it. I forgot about that. I don't even remember if I beat it as a kid. That's how long it's been. <laughs> so definitely give it a go. If you're a Power Ranger fan, you will definitely enjoy this one. So I have to read this title. Uh, it is Scooby Doo and Looney Tunes Cartoon Universe Adventure for the 3DS. This was in my backlog as well. I never considered playing it because I would always see the game and go, I'm going to play something else. And uh, it's a platformer. I didn't know that. And uh, basically, you kind of have to jump from place to place. It, the camera angles are a little weird. That's the only thing that threw me off. But the bosses are easy. The enemies are easy. You can get through this and no, no problem. Uh, it's a kind of short game. I didn't expect it to be that long, but I didn't expect it to be like three hours. So you can play through it and beat it in one sitting if you actually just take the time and go through with it. I enjoyed the story, but I wish you could play as actually as the, the Looney Tune characters. You talk to them, you are part of the Scooby-Doo universe, you talk to them, but you don't actually get to play as one of the characters. You play as a character that you create and then you run through the universe as that creation that you made, but I kind of would have liked it better if I had played as Scooby-Doo in the Looney Tunes universe or vice versa. It was, yeah, okay. After that, I played X-Men Mutant Academy for the Game Boy Color. It's a fighter. Um, it's kind of like all the other fighters I played on Game Boy where literally it's you fight against whatever person you're fighting and you just move on and go through. I will say it is a better X-Men version. Um, a lot of the X-Men versions were messing up the storyline, but this one did okay. It, it's got a lot of the enemies. They did the powers correctly. You do have, you know, Xavier guiding you through, telling you the story. And then you get to, at the very end, can play as Phoenix. So it's a good fighter. Try it out if you ever can get a chance. And I know, I think the prices are not too bad for this game right now. I was in a fighter kick, and the next one was Battle Arena Chushinden. I can have a hard time saying the last word, but it's a Game Boy. Uh, it's a good port. Um, I didn't expect it to be a good port, but it, it is. It's actually a decent port of a fighter that I didn't think was going to be a good fighter. Because <laughs> I've seen a lot of wonky fighters that have some weird mechanics because you only have two buttons to go through with, and you gotta make everything work in one. But it was decent. Uh, the end guy was really a challenge. It took me a couple times to get him to finish him and get him to, to stop fighting me, but difficult and I enjoyed it. So if you can find it, definitely put this one in your Game Boy and try it out. The next game was the game that I played at Level Up Expo. I 
was walking around. I was like, I'm gonna play some free games. You get uh, a chance to, which it was really packed. So it was kind of hard to play any of the arcade games. I literally just stood behind somebody and just waited for them to finish this one. It was House of the Dead EX. This is not like the regular House of the Dead games. I never seen this arcade game. I don't know, maybe it just was not popular enough to get into any of the arcades that I was around. But it is cartoony style. It's like Borderlands meets Walking Dead from Telltale Games, where you are two zombie creatures um, and you are fending off zombies. I didn't really get it, but it was in Japanese, so... <laughs> couldn't like translate so I don't know what the story was really about but you are going through and you're fighting now I will say it's not all shooting sometimes you're literally just pushing the pedals with your foot and you have to push the pedals and stomp spiders and stomp and run and and kind of like a frogger platformer sections and stuff like that and to me I, I kind of didn't like those ones I'd rather just shoot like I was more having fun shooting and there's sections where one player does one thing and another player does another thing so the one player will be the shield so you have to push the pedal when they they attack you and then the other one will have to shoot it's that was okay i like that part but i just didn't really get it and i don't know if it, it it's okay it's it 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 did have some challenge to it though like you can't just go through and play the game and easily beat it like, if you don't meet the timer, it fails you and you have to keep playing again and again and again. But I liked the shooting parts. I loved that part where you had to, you had to aim for the, like, whatever hit points, hitbox it was. And you had to get that part done and you had to finish it through. But it was very cartoony. Um, it's not bad, but it's just probably not for, like, everybody who loves House of the Dead. Like, it didn't say you're dead. It just said failed. So <laughs> it was meant to be, I guess, geared towards kids. I have no idea, but it's four stages and you can go from point A to point B, but you can choose which way you want to go. So like you can do like shooting or pedal, but sometimes I was like, there's only pedal options. And I'm like, my calves are burning. Can we not have another pedal option? <laughs> can I just do shooting for a minute? Give my, my leg a break for a second? Because that was a lot. Like, I burned so many calories doing that, for sure. You can lose some weight doing that one. The next game is Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. I saw Dizzy beat this. I saw uh, Brother Forge Gaming. I saw Easy beat the, Gen the Genesis version. And I set a goal for myself. I was like, I want to beat this game. Now, granted, it took me a couple months because I think it was the controller. I couldn't get through in the widescreen and the lag and the, the section where the carpet, that one took forever. <laughs> I finally got through and I got, because I have to sit down and I have to play it. I can't just like put the code in. I have to like play it from beginning to end and if I run out of continues, I'm screwed. So I got enough practice and I finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try with the new controller and I beat it. I defeated Jafar. I can mark this one off of the children's childhood uh, games that I couldn't finish and I'm happy. I will say I'm glad I kept pushing forward and getting this game done. Now two Disney games are off the list. I gotta beat Lion King in Jungle Book and Little Mermaid so wish me luck on that one. And the last game was a disappointing one. It's uh, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue for the N64. I don't know why it was so bad. It was generic. Um, it's a shooter, but different styles of shooters. You have the, the ranger running in one section where you are running and shooting enemies. And then the next section, it's a car, a vehicle, the, the zords shooting and doing that. And then it's after that, it's uh, you fight uh, with the, the zord, the connected zord to megazord to fight uh, something else. It was very generic. You had points where they are going, yay! And I'm like, this is not Power Rangers. Why is the generic sounds in this game? You could tell they didn't know anything about Power Rangers, whoever made this game. It was not good. <laughs> I'm sad. I was like, I'm going to play through all these Power Ranger games. I'm like, so excited. 
and this was not a good one. I don't recommend this Power Ranger game to anybody. If you can find it for free, play it, but I am so disappointed in this game. And there you have it! I beat 16 games, and that brings my grand total to 26 total for two months. I was crushing it this month, so we'll see how many more months and how many games I can beat, but thank you so much for checking out the video. If you're new, hit the sub button, and keep on gaming, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games